Good morning, everybody. So this is my first year growing Clemson spineless okra. And I've been going crazy trying to find out more facts about this okra because it's actually been really challenging to find. Um, what turned me on to growing it is that unlike other okra, this doesn't have the sharp spines and spikes all down it. Which made it a lot easier to, for one, grow it close together, but also for me to grow and for my kids to come out here because this is near their play garden and not get injured. And you can see I have them pretty closely together all throughout the bed at different stages. Um, on these, we've had even had some pest damage with the little woolly bugs. And I'm not sure what everyone else calls them, but they look like this, so kind of been smushing them off. They do a lot of damage, but we also, I came out here and discovered that we have lady beetles and I've seen fire ants out here actually eating, eating them as well. So that helps out a lot. So it, we don't spray here and if you have a habitat where you don't spray, you know, everything begins to balance itself out pretty well. But about this, you'll see this one is about about three feet tall now and I was kind of concerned because I'm like oh three feet that's not very big but as it turns out these only get about four or five foot maximum so three feet is actually a pretty good size here's some more pest on here now right here I miss because I was out of town for over a week I miss the flower stage there's they say that they're hibiscus like flowers but to me they don't look like hibiscus flowers but um Ochre is actually in the same family as, as hibiscus. It's in the mallow family. And so this is what a baby spineless ochre looks like. And believe it or not, just yesterday, these were barely there at all. So in a couple of days, I'll come out and these will be five plus inches tall. I mean, they can grow several inches in just a day or so but here's just kind of what everything looks like so I was really curious as a first-time grower exactly what it would look like and I thought well there's got to be somebody else out there going crazy trying to find more pictures of what it looks like when these just start to produce their okra and so here's here's kind of what we have going on and you can see there are different stages on each one here's this one you know, it's kind of blurry. The lighting's not very good today. So, there's some more pests on this, too. Just kind of wipe them off. If you're growing natural, one thing you'll learn quickly is that you spend a lot of time wiping pests off <laughs> of your plants. And here's another one growing right over there. Now, the crazy thing is that, and I'll walk you over here, here's kind of... A full picture of how tall it is. Crazy thing is even these little tiny okra over here that probably shouldn't have okra have baby okra and honestly I'm not sure if these should be picked off at not or not so I think I'll probably do an experiment where I pick them off a few plants and leave them on others. Here's here are smaller ones so you can kind of see them all at different stages. Now this bed out here, all I have in it at the bottom is black mulch and then some mushroom compost filled into it and then I water it every few days. You really should water it periodically because down here it is really hot. It's just in the 90s easily can get into the 100 so it's important to water them. I'm lucky to get out here and water once a week. I can be get really busy and really lazy and so that's just the honest truth and this is what I was talking about about the pest problem that we've been having so just kind of smush those off to get them under control so that's it I just kind of wanted to get out here and show you guys what we're dealing with and what it looks like so if anyone has any questions like I did this is kind of the starting stages of the okra and then this is what it looks like once it starts really producing